Buffalo Bill. There wasn't any gate. Well, of course there isn't a gate. You're in the Barkley Ranch and you're trespassing. Oh, don't try to stomp me with that beast of yours. Look, why don't we talk this over like gentlemen? There is nothing to talk about except get those wagons off our land, and I mean it. Your land, is it? Would, would you like to take a look at a map I've got that says it isn't? Map? This is the Barkley Ranch. I don't want to argue with you, but from now on, this is the Kilkenny Farm. Now, get out. You're not going to put that sign up on our fence. Won't I now? Just watch. I'm telling you for the last time. This is Barkley land, and I'm Audra Barkley. Oh, now, I thought you were Miss Buffalo Bill. Look, I'm deaf in one ear, and I don't believe in wasting time talking to little girls. Oh, oh stop it now. Look what she's talking to, Jerry. Oh, Oh, now, I'm a peaceful man, Miss Buffalo Bill. Now, we bought this land and we intend to occupy it. This time, I'm not fooling with you. Take your hands off of me! Ouch! Ouch! Stop it! Oh, brothers, I'll fix you for this! Lame. Where? Up by Spring Meadow. And you walk? That's ten miles. More like a hundred. Boy, howdy. You know, I think I got blisters in places that I didn't know I had places. Well, I guess you won't crave going dancing tonight, huh? Nope. Got my whole evening plan. Going to bed. Horse bed? Just pull the tendon. He'll be all right with a little rest. No. And so will I. What's wrong with her? Oh, hey, Audra, what's wrong with you? You'll find out soon enough. What'll we find out soon enough? I can't find the keys to the gun cabinet. Have you seen them? Got them right here in my pocket. Oh, may I have them, please? Yeah. Thank you. Heath, I swear, if I didn't know better, I'd say it seems like maybe 
Hard to plan to shoot somebody. Yeah. Who do you suppose she's going to shoot? No idea. Think there's anybody we know? I think we better find out. Yeah, let's go. Who do you plan to shoot, Miss Barkley? I don't know his name. What'd he do? Never mind, but he's going to take that sign down. Sign? What sign? Kill Kenny Farms or something. And then he and the rest of those squatters... Squatters? Moved right into our land, knocked down our fence. Are you serious? You bet I am. Sure is on our land? The North Pasture. Pulled down the fence and started making themselves to home. Well, tell them to get on. I did. And then this man, this, this big ape, told me it was his land. Sure don't sound like squatters. They wouldn't sit down that close to the ranch. It's not their way. No, no, it isn't. Mm. Sounds like somebody made a mistake. Well, they made a mistake, all right. Whoa, easy, little sister. Now, they didn't harm you, and this is not your job. But they did harm me. That big ape, he's... He, he what? He hit me. Hit you? You mean he took a punch at you? Well, he didn't punch me, but he hit me. Well, where'd he hit you? I don't see any marks. You won't. Oh. That isn't funny. Not if you don't think so. You think we, uh, should go over there and help Padre shoot those people? I mean, it, uh, just wouldn't be right for us to stand around and let somebody injure our sister's dignity, now would it? No, I wouldn't. No. All right, I'll go along with you. See what all this is about, all right? There they are. Did you hear what he said? Hello yourselves. I'm John James Callahan. We, uh, we bought this land. Bought it? Right. Well, now, isn't that interesting? We own it, and we never sold it. I'm afraid there's been a mistake. Well, on your part, maybe. I've got to build a sale. He's the one, Nick. Pulled me off my horse and hit me. Oh, Miss Buffalo Bill, I do apologize, and I mean it. But... Well, when you started to hit me with that little whip of yours, I just up and did it. I'm sorry. Please, put that fence back up. Just leave enough room for the wagons to get out. And, uh, Callahan, is it? I don't know what you're trying to pull, but I want to see all those wagons loaded and you out of here. Do you? By what authority? Two things. One, we own it. Two, if you don't, I'll throw you out. Well, will you now? That's the sight I'd like to see. But, but before you try, would you like to look at some documents I've got? No, all I want to look at is the tail end of your wagon through that fence. that sign down. Leave it alone. Miss, if you'd just be so kind. No, no, no. Stop threatening my niece. Wait a minute now. <laughs> How would you like a punch in the nose for your trouble? Well, I didn't come here to cause you no trouble, but you are on private land. Do you want to fight her, don't you? Come on. Hey, Callahan, or whatever your name is, this is no nonsense for young girls and old men. You're on private property. You're breaking the law. I've heard about you hooligan squatters. Oh. Would you mind repeating that? Clean your ears out. I said I've heard about you hooligan squatters. Will you step down here and take your licking, or do you want me to drag you off? You name it. 
And you'll get it. Down here, man. And I think I'm going to enjoy this. Heath, hold this. Nick. They might steal horses, too. Jimmy! Jimmy Callahan, you stop this fight. And you're a man grown and you're a better sense. Ma, get out of the way. This man is trying to kick us off land that we bought, and I'm going to count his head for him. Oh, the land you bought? That's right. That's the biggest barefaced lie I've ever heard. Are you calling my mother a liar? I'm calling you a liar. Oh, Ma, get out of the way. Stop it now, both of you. Listen to me. Show him the papers, Jimmy. Ma, I tried to. He don't want to see them. Don't you want to see the map and the bill of sale? We are honest folk. Came all the way from County Kilkenny. Go get the papers, Jimmy. Go get them. Let's settle this. Mr. Barclay, we bought this land in San Francisco from a land company, the Aquila Land Company. I'm sure you've heard of it. No, I haven't. You haven't? No. Nick, you don't suppose, you know, with Mother and Jared in San Francisco, they could have sold some of the land. Well, how could they? They would have told us. They would have wired us. All right. Bill of sale, land map, contract to the deed. Now who's lying? As a matter of fact, you're trespassing on our land if you'll check your maps. Those fence lines should be three miles back. This is not a deed, it's a contract of sale, there's not a Barclay name on it. Doesn't mean a thing. Oh, it doesn't, does it? We paid hard cash for this legal. And right here is where we're gonna stay, you understand? I think you better understand something. This land didn't come cheap. We paid for it with sweat and pain and a quantity of blood. It's ours, and not this piece of paper or your say-so is gonna make us give up one inch of it. Check your own maps. I intend to do just that, and also check our survey line. I still say you're a bunch of hooligan squatters. <gasps> when you come back, bring your apology wrapped in a blue ribbon. Let's go. Nick, I better put up this fence. You leave the fence alone. Well, now, you know if our cattle get through here and down into the swamp, you're going to pay for them. Now, that's $30 on the hoof per head. And I don't think you can afford that. All right, we don't want your cattle. Put up the fence, but leave a gate so we're not hindered. See you. I'm uh, going to need a hammer. Miss, would you get me a hammer? Ah, don't be giving shattering orders. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll put up the fence myself. Well, no order. I thought I'd ask you kind of politely. And don't be using your polite tricks on us either. We've heard about landlords like you who would steal the pennies off the eyes of a dead man. I'm going to need a shovel, too, because i got a lot of holes to dig. Sharon, why do you suppose the English are such an uncommon, rude, and argumentative race? Tell me, did you, did you ever think of changing your name to Sweeney or Brannigan? People would like you a whole lot more. Sweeney? Brannigan? No, no, I wouldn't want to claim the honor of being Irish. But you know, there's one thing I always did admire about the Irish, and that's their toleration of all those other races less fortunate. Did you know? Well, what do you think of that? Your landlords are all alike. You don't understand what it means to be without. That's where you're wrong, miss. Dead wrong. Now, let's stop jawing around here and get me that hammer and shovel, or I just may let you put up that fence. section maps. I want to check our property line. Where's Audra? Uh, Miss Alfie seemed upset. She went to bed. Have you seen Heath? No, sir. He hadn't returned as yet. Well, where is he? Shouldn't have taken him more than an hour to put up that fence. Is this the map you're looking for? No, no, no. That's the section across the swamp land, the old Larrabee homestead. Oh, oh, oh that's... Blast it! All right. Silas, will you, will you help me clean all, it up? All right. Well, now, where have you been? Did you stop off someplace? Oh, putting up a fence takes a little longer than tearing it down. The post holes were already dug. All you had to do was Made sink. a gate, too. That took a while. Mm -hmm. Then I thought it was a good idea to kind of stick around and get acquainted with the people. 
Why? Wanted to find out if they were really squatters. Oh, they're squatters, all right. An elephant in a bathtub couldn't be plainer. Nick, I know I may have mentioned this before, but isn't it just possible that while Jared is in San Francisco selling some of our beef, he might have dealt off some of our land? Without saying anything to us? Sell off the best land we've got? I don't say he did, I just say he might have. Do you realize that that piece of land controls the stream that waters the whole north pasture, and if anyone fouls it up or diverts it, we're gonna have to haul water in here on our backs? Well, I don't guess Jared would sell it then, unless he had good reason to. Well, he hasn't. And by the time he gets back, there'll be a dozen more families squatting right alongside the ones that are already there. I don't think there'll be any more coming. Well, now, what makes you say that? I don't think they're squatters. Huh. Well, what are they, then? I think maybe they're just good, honest people that maybe made a mistake. Maybe made a mistake. Heath, I thought you'd been around. Well, I've seen a few things. Well, not nearly enough. Nobody accidentally stumbles onto somebody else's fenced-off land. If uh, you're looking for the north section boundary map, Jared took it with him. Took it to San Francisco? Why didn't you tell me? Well, I suppose it's because you didn't ask me. Heath, whose side are you on, anyway? Now, look, Nick, there's no use getting yourself worked up into a lather. We'll just take a ride down to Stockton and send a telegram to Jared. Clear the whole thing right up, wouldn't it there, Silas? Seems to me it would. You want me to put all these away, Mr. Nick? Yeah, put them away. your business, but it's got to be cash. Well, there'll be plenty of cash once we get started. I've got a sign inside that says, in God we trust, everyone else pays cash. Now, I put that sign up after a lot of experience. Come on, Uncle Jimmy. He's as bad as all the others. Oh, thank you, friends. Oh, you assaulting people on the street. Oh, what are you talking about? You bumped into me. Never mind. Don't apologize. I know you, Barclays. Swindlers, you sell a man land and then you try to snatch it back from him. All right, get out of my way. Oh, am I blocking your path, Mr. Barkley? Excuse me. Listen, Callahan, I'm going to send a telegram to San Francisco to check up on this so-called bill of sale and contract of yours. Then you'll probably want to buy me a drink. But no, thank you. My grandfather, God rest his soul, gave me two bits of advice. One, never burn down an orphanage. And two, never take a drink with an Englishman. Come, Sharon. There's your so-called decent people. Come on. Now, you don't need me to help you send that telegram, do you? No, why? Oh, got something on to do. Well, don't you go over to Big Annie's, get yourself in any trouble, you hear me? We gotta get back. Me? I don't know what you mean. I'm going down here to the music store, get me some cheap music. Yeah, and I'm a trained bear, too. right away, Fred. How long does it take to get to San Francisco? Oh, no time at all. That's fine. As soon as you get a reply, see to it it's delivered out to the ranch, will you? Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Well, is that a fact? Busted down the fences. Well, it seems to me, Nick, the first thing you ought to do is tell the sheriff and then file an injunction. Get paper served Fred, on it. Fred, 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 just, uh, just send the wire. Send the wire. Yeah. Well, there must be another store. Hey. That's our wagon. Mr. Boswell here decided to change his mind about your credit. He did? On Mr. Barclay's guarantee. Take that out of there. We don't want any of it. Well, I thought this is the least we could do. You can take your guarantee and keep it to yourself. We don't want any of it. 
Now, young lady, all Mr. Barkley is trying to do When is... his kind give, they want something in return. I've had experience. We don't want your guarantee or nothing else. Now, take it easy. You don't have to mistrust everybody. I won't say I know how to give a gift, but you don't know how to accept one. I know you find landowners, and that's enough. Now, take your filthy food out of our wagon. We don't want it. Do what she says, lad. Take it out. Hello, Mother. Uh. How was the shopping? Oh, just fine. Oh. And this is for you. What? Oh, I know it's not your birthday. It's just something extra. Well. What's the telegram? Oh, that's from Nick. He's got some squatters. They claim they bought part of the north section. We didn't sell any, did we? No. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to lease more land. We could use it. The Jumping Frog of Calaveras County by Mark Twain. Who well. wants an answer? All right. Come on, we'll go down to the telegraph office, and then I promise to take you to Monty's. Their pepper steak is famous. If I know your brother, he's a lot hotter than that pepper steak right now. He helped your father put up those fences. Jared, maybe we'd better skip dinner. You want to go back to the ranch? And in a hurry. All right, then. That's what we'll do. <laughs> think he's doing? Why don't you ask him? Hi. Nice weather. What are you doing? It's a good growing weather. Those are weeds. Well, these are lamb's quarters. You uh, cook them same as spinach. Oh, are they good to eat? We don't need someone telling us to eat weeds. You know, Callahan, when I was a kid, we used to eat cactus with the spines all peeled off and boiled. This and cornmeal mush, and pretty glad to get it. That's not a bad idea, lad. We might just have ourselves some of these greens for supper. Uh, would you be good enough to show Sharon which ones they are? Be glad to. She's a homely girl, but she's got a lot of fine qualities. We have trouble finding young men to call on her. Oh, shut up, Uncle Jimmy. You're not funny. No, what did I say wrong? I, I was just going to suggest that you might like to stay for supper. Well, for a homely girl, she's uncommonly pretty. I'd be obliged to say. Oh, well, I'll have Ma set an extra place. in lamb's quarters. For them? Hey, what's my... All right, the party's over. This telegram proves they're all trespassing. Hey, you don't know what's going on. What's the idea? Come back there. All right, move those wagons out of here. You're all squatters. Now, this telegram says you've got no sale, no deed, no contract, no nothing. Now load up these wagons and get! But we paid the man. He signed the deed. We ought to know our own money and we paid it out. Took us five years to save it. I don't see how your telegram proves anything. Maybe you're part of a Yankee swindle, but it's not going to work with us. This oh, telegram I... says it will. Oh, I could have sent me own self a telegram. Well, if it isn't Mr. Barkley, the English landlord, good day to you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Callahan, if you had any sense, you'd have all these people load up these wagons and get out. Your whole Blarney game is over. Is it now? And the Irish peasant is swindled again by the English lord upon his fine horse. Oh, Barkley, lad, would you like me to part your hair with a spade, or will you step down here and find out right now if you're man enough to throw anybody out of anywhere? Callahan, you don't know how much I'm going to enjoy this. Look at the disease 
Suggest injunction to remove them. Aquila Land Company, Fraudulent Corporation. Jared Barkley, San Francisco. Don't mean a thing. Anybody can send a telegram. We paid our money and we'll stand our ground. We ain't moving. Nick, 
I don't want to keep getting in your hair. I know you're doing what you think is right. Then don't. Nick, you've got to let me say what I think. Now, there's one difference between you and me. I know what it is to be poor, and you oh, don't. Oh, now, are you trying to tell me that being poor is an excuse to steal? No. Did you ever have to steal, Heath? No, but I've come pretty close to it when I couldn't eat mud anymore. But you didn't, did you? No, and neither have those people. Now, we just don't see eye to eye, do we? Nick, if you'll just stop and listen one you minute. You stay out of this. Nick, sometimes you get mad and do things you're sorry for. Like what? Working my guts out to build this place up so someone can come along and squat on it, steal it out from under our noses. I'm warning you, Heath, you stay out of this. Nick, like Jared said in the telegram, get a court order. Talk to the sheriff. Nick, there are women and children out there. Oh, no, thank you, Heath. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. You're telling me now that I'm going to go around shooting down women and children. I don't mean that, but it could happen. Either you stay out of this or I'm going to bust the rest of these knuckles in your face. I wish you would, Nick. I didn't mean that. I'm going to tell you is about as true and sensible as a man can get. We're not leaving. We paid our money and we're honest people. Callahan, that's Nick and some of our men coming. And they've got guns. Now, if you want to see this land fertilize with somebody's blood, then don't listen to me. What is it you've got to say? Look, Callahan, I believe you. I know you paid your money. Somebody swindled you, but it wasn't us. Now, Nick is not a bad man, but right now he's mad. Well, I'm mad too. Why should I believe what you tell me? If somebody starts shooting, there could be somebody dead. You, Nick, Sharon, the children. Is it worth that? All right, Callahan, the fooling's over. Load up these wagons. Callahan, please. Callahan, tell your friend to get out of the way. Put that shotgun away. You're not going rabbit hunting. It'd only blow up on you if you tried to use it. All right, we'll go. It won't be the first time poor people lost land they were trying to feed themselves on. I want you to be proud of yourself, Nick Barkley. You've got thousands of acres as far as your eyes can see. And there are six families here that have lost all their money, got no place to go. And when winter comes, the children are going to be crying from the hunger and the cold. You be proud of that. You talk to Heath. You can tell Heath to take a jump for himself. One of you ought to give in. Well, it's not going to be me. You stay out of this. Would you like a cup of coffee, Mr. Nick? Well, now, what is this? Am I getting sympathy or something? I threw some squatters off our land. Well, nobody's giving you sympathy, Nick. It's just maybe you're going too far. 
too far. You're the one that came screaming for action when you got your backside paddled. Well, now, what are you waiting around here for? Nothing. Guess you think I should do something for these people, huh? I didn't say that. Silas, if you say to me, Mr. Nick, your father would have done such and such and such and such, I'm going to take you and that dust rag and throw you both right out the window. Go ahead. It's your own wonder. I'm not telling you what to do, Mr. Nick. How much you aren't? Do whatever you please. That's the way I always do. Silas, what have I said to you to take the wagon and throw a couple of sides of beef in it along with a couple of sacks of flour and take it out to them tomorrow? I wouldn't fuss about it none. That's up to you, Mr. Nick. Then do it! And get out of here, I'm busy. All right, Mr. Nick, I guess you know your own mind. Jimmy, we've got to do one thing or another. We can't just sit here. You made a great bargain for us, finding that land agent. Now look. You did your best, son. And I'm proud you stopped the fighting. We're law-abiding people. The law belongs to them like the Barclays. The rich make their own laws. Not all of them, Jimmy. There's no law says we can't be together, can't trust each other. Shall we pack up? They want to know. Nick must have gotten my wire. Not even Silas. Well, they're just not anxious to see us, that's all. <laughs> the least Nick could have done is left word at the station. Nick! Keith! Audra! Silas! Really? Oh. Yes, sir? What? <laughs> What's going on? Nice to see you. Audra? Oh, oh, dirty oh, trick on you. Which way, Jimmy? Which way do we head? No, we're not going to go. We paid our money and we're not going to move. We've come 7,000 miles and we've been duped and pushed around and laughed at and now we're going to fight. Give me that shotgun, Hogan. The Barclays have got more land than they can use, and we are not going to starve. Jimmy, don't be saying something we'll all be sorry for. Now, what's for? the use of running, Ma? We're going to stay right here, all of us. And if they want to come and throw us out, they're going to have to fight every man, woman, and child with pitchforks, stones, and clubs. If they want to fight, we'll give them a good one. Yeah. Give me that horse, Hogan. Jimmy, you're right, Jimmy. We're right behind you to a man. We're right behind you. If we don't want to move, they can't move us. No, now get yourselves clubs and stay in the wagon. And if they bring me back on a board, continue the fight. Where's Nick Barkley? Oh, uh, Mr. Barkley, you're out of my way. Where is he? Silas, did you see the package with the... I didn't know we had a visitor. I'm looking for Nick Barkley. Do you always come calling with a shotgun, Mr... Uh... Callahan. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Who are you? I'm Nick's mother, and this is my home you have just broken into. Well, this is between me and him. Where is he? Do you plan to shoot him? I plan to stand up for what's right and, and not be pushed around. Mr. Callahan, Nick would put a half a dozen holes right through you by the time you got that shotgun cocked and ready. Now you don't want that, do you? Maybe you wouldn't, maybe you wouldn't. But we're not going to be pushed off land that we paid our hard-earned cash for. I see. Silas, would you take the gentleman's hat? Perhaps I can get you something, a glass of port or tea? And he can't hide behind his mother's skirts, either. Well, you don't want to shoot me, do you? 
I only want what's right. Silas, do we have any Irish whiskey? Perhaps Mr. Callahan would join me in a glass. A gentleman wouldn't refuse. Don't be using your grand manners with me. This is no business for a woman to be meddling in, if you pardon my saying so. Well, perhaps it would have been better if a woman had meddled from the beginning. Now, I'm very sorry for what's happened, oh, Mr. Oh, you're Callahan. sorry? Then why is he pushing six families out to starve? My son, Jared, checked the land agent who swindled you when we were in San Francisco. He's wanted by the law, and you have absolutely no legal rights to occupy... Callahan! Get out of this house! Oh, put down that ridiculous gun. Nick, stop shouting when I'm speaking to a guest. Mother, that's a squatter I was telling you about. Nick, come down here. You don't want Mr. Callahan to shoot me while you're gone, do you? I'm sorry, Mrs. Barclay. I came here to shoot your son, not you. Oh, well, then you'll want to drop before the serious work. Sit down, Mr. Callahan. Your health, Mrs. Barclay. And bad luck to your son. Callahan, get out of this house. What kind of a hooligan are you busting into a man's home? Nick, apologize to our guest. That'll be the day. Oh, such rudeness. How do you put up with it, Mrs. Barclay, from your own side? Callahan, either you get out of here or I'll throw you Nick, off. you sit over there. I said... Your health. May it all be bad. Oh, you both could do one sensible thing. What's that? Stop insulting each other. You'll pardon me, Mrs. Barkley. You're a fine woman, but there's lots about your son needs insulting. <clears throat> I don't think that's very funny, Mr. Callahan. I'm trying hard to make sense out of this thing. Sense? You'll never make sense with that bullheaded hooligan. Nick, please. Now, you must find the man who took your money and get it back. Until then, tell your people they can stay where they are. Stay where they are! Well, that's a decent offer, Mrs. Barkley. You're a fine woman. It's stay the... where they are, and Callahan will go off hunting this swindler of his, if one ever existed, and that'll be the last we'll see of him for six months. And then we'll never get rid of them. And if I stay here long enough, they get squatters' rights, and every court in the country will back them up. No, they won't. And, Mr. Callahan, when you do get your money back, buy some other property. Our land is not for sale. Is that clear? Fair enough. I promise you, we'll leave as soon as we get our legs under it. Good. Now, shake hands. With him? No, oh, no. No. I no. want you both to go together and find that man. Together? Now, Mother, what sense is there in that? Where's your respect for your mother? Shake hands. We'll do what your mother says. Snoring. You're snoring. No, I Sound like I somebody know. strangling a sick moose. Oh, Why don't you both shut up? Quiet in here! Well, what's going on? Well, conductor, this Irish ditch digger shooting off his face. Any more out of you and I'll throw you off the train. Oh, now, wait a minute, conductor. He's the one that started yelling. Hey, you keep out of it. If you smell like Paddy's pig to boot. Your mother said no fighting, but I can't take that. Then don't. I, not, you start anything and I'll throw you both off the train. Now, I, I... You in what army? Uh... I, 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 quiet, quiet, dude. Uh, here. Louts. The same clerk, the one that introduced me to him. Hello there, Fogarty. How's your mother's bunions? Well, you remember me, don't you? John James Callahan. I was here a couple of weeks ago. Oh, yes, yes, Mr. Hallahan. No, Callahan. Uh, my friend and I'd like a room. By the way, you haven't seen our friend Powell J. Welch recently, have you? Powell J. Welch? Uh, you introduced me to him. Is he still upstairs? No, no, he isn't. He checked out. 
Well, if you just signed the register. I don't know anything about him. You don't, don't you? I think you do, and I'm here to get him. He's not here, and don't you go starting any trouble. I think you're in cahoots with him, skinning greenhorns out of their money. Callahan, why don't we call the police and get a warrant? I don't need any help. He's upstairs, and I'm going to get him. The man you're looking for ain't here, so don't start nothing. Oh, he ain't, is he? Now, you wouldn't be trying to stop an honest man from laying his hands on that lying swindler, would you? He's upstairs. Let's get him. This isn't a pretty picture. Oh, let's not have any of that. Just get us out of here, huh? I was just a little surprised, to say the least. It wasn't his fault, it was me. Well, don't you take all the credit. Well, if you'd bothered to ask me, I could have told you that the whole town has been looking for your land swindler, and they've already picked him up in Sacramento. What's about our money? Well, there, I'm afraid there's no hope. He spent it all. Faro, roulette. Can't get any of it back? Not a red cent. Well, come on, our lawyers paid our fine. Come on. I can't go back and face him. It was me got him into it, and every blasted thing I've done is wrong. You tried, man. Now they can't hang a man for trying. I'm a dumb, rotten clod. You know, I think you're right. <laughs> Says who? We're getting off your property. Callahan, there's, a, there's some land as dry as a bone. We can't even get a buzzard to live on it. It's a, about 70 miles south of here. All we do is pay taxes on it. But with irrigation, well, all I'm trying to say is you can farm it. That is, if you think you're man enough. But with hard work, you might be able to make something on it. Don't do us no favors. Land's no good the way it is. People know how to work, just might make something out of it. Well, what about it? Well, it's, it's kind of charity, no matter how you put it. How Irish can an Irishman be? Is this your mother's idea? No, it's his. Maybe it's about time you stop being poor proud and learn how to accept something. We accept, and we thank you. Uh, you want to go along and uh, help him get settled? Love to. Give him the map. Callahan. See if you can find it without getting on the wrong side of someone's fence, huh? The next time the sign goes up, it's going to stay up for good. Shall we go? Yeah! Thank <laughs> you.